what's going on everybody um, I'm just doing a couple around the house jobs that today I'll uh, show you guys what I'm up to so this right here is the making of a very cheap sign um, I'm just gonna basically paint you can still kind of see it where I painted it with the spray paint can where it said hay for sale just plywood I had laying around uh, for a cheap sign um, the reason why I'm doing this I know it's gonna look hack and everything like that is because I don't want to deliver um, delivery is very a big pain in the butt and if I can sell it locally and uh, get rid of it so that they pick it up it's a whole lot less hassle um, for moving the hay I still have about 40 bales to move right now that I want to get rid of so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way and putting it uh, a street sign out on a major street so that everyone can see it and everybody knows who to call if they're looking for hay. That I think is the easier way. Um, I will eventually get a trailer so that I can move my own hay, but I don't like delivering it myself because it's just, it's so much of a pain in the butt and it's not really worth the investment for someone else um, unless they just don't want to pay it. Unfortunately, there's competition. Jake, get away from the paint. Unfortunately, there's competition when it comes to hay right now, and um, we get big competition from up north. Um, people think it's smarter to ship it, but they end up paying more when they ship it than it does to actually just get it around here. The reason is, is that around here, we don't have the acreage um, to do it. So that you have, I don't know, 2,000 acres in hay, it just doesn't happen here. Um, the hayland is usually considered crappier land. That's why a lot of guys look at it and it's kind of a pain in the ass more than it is uh, worth their while. Where me, I kind of look at it as a high yielding crop. But I, for me, the land is kind of, I'm landlocked. There's not a lot of guys around here that are giving up land because it goes generation to generation. And if they're, most of it's rented, but they still keep it in the family on where it's rented. So I'm stuck kind of a little bit on looking for land to do more hay. But it all comes in time. Um, I know it's just patience and time that creates it and uh, makes me move forward. But this, I, I have this like this, and I also have um, online, we have uh, Kijiji in Canada, and uh, I've moved hay like that before. It's not a bad way, but you get a lot of people coming in, but a lot of people don't like paying the price. And uh, it's just because there's no hay around, and that there's just, it's not here. There's only first cut and people expect you to bail for free. Can't do that, can't afford to do that, but way it goes. So I'll show you guys what I have left and uh, what I still gotta move. Little look here, this is kinda my hay field I'm still waiting on. The dog actually gives you a good perspective on how high it is, where is he? He's just a standard little dog and it's still not very high. So that's what we're waiting on and hopefully we can get second cut off of it. So this right here is as far as I got. Uh, I just kind of created a little uh, A-frame I'll create out of it. And uh, it's just enough where people see it and can see it from far away. And it'll basically sell my hay locally, which makes it a lot easier for me. So that's the plan. Um, I haven't gotten down to too much. It's been pretty humid out, but haven't really been able to work in the sun too, too much. But uh, everything's going good. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. There's a couple of my calves right there by the pond and the mom. And here I'm going to drive up a little closer. There are two right here. Everything's growing good. Grass is all right. You'll notice it's short because they like mowing this down. We don't have a lot of fencing around here, so they kind of roam wherever and they mow the grass really short because this is close to where the water and the salt is. I wish they'd go farther away and go get some of the longer grass on the other side, but they don't. So until they get hungrier, they'll keep that long grass in the back and eventually they'll get to it.